So today I am going to answer the question whether a 100 watt solar panel can power a 1000 watt hour Jackery Explorer. I'm not going to get into math. I'm not going to get into equations because honestly, I don't understand it myself. I am going to plug my devices into my Jackery. This Jackery I bought new and I've been using it for about four months. I'm going to plug in my devices, show the watt hours and talk about my experience with it. I bought a 1000 watt Renogy monocrystalline solar panel. I thought 100 watts, 100 watts is what I get in. That's not the case. It, I'm in sunny Florida right now. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm getting 10, 12, 14 watts in. That's been my experience so far. When it's really cooking, it's about 20 to 25 watts in. The most I've ever seen on my 100 watt solar panel is 32 watts. That's the most I've ever seen. I don't know why I don't get 100, but I don't get any close to 100. That's for sure. When I run the car, I get 75 watts in, 77, 76, about 75 watts in. When I plug it into an AC outlet, I get about 176. The main device that I've been powering is my fridge. I have a Joy Titus 26 liter fridge. And when it, when it runs, the output is about 26 watts. It idles at about one watt, which is what it's at now. Here's my MacBook Pro. It's using 74 watts right now. Here's my iPad. It is using 12 watts. Here is my iPhone 7. It is using 8 watts. Here is my Acer Spin PC computer. It is using 20 watts. Here is the battery for my Panasonic underwater point and shoot camera and the battery is using six watts. Here are two AA rechargeable antelope batteries and they are using nine watts. Well, it's fluctuating. It's fluctuating between nine and three watts. Now it's two. Now it's eight. Now it's two. Here is the battery pack for my DJI Mini 2 drone. And the battery pack for the Flymore combo is using 24 watts. Here's my electric blanket. It's a full size electric blanket. I don't remember what brand I bought. Um, I bought it at Target. A uh, full size electric blanket. It is on low and it is using um, 81, 88, 112, 96, 94. So it's fluctuating, but it's it's using about that. Uh, sometimes I keep it on low for the entire night. It has a 10 hour shut off, automatic shut off, and I'll, I'll run it for all 10 hours. I'll switch it up to five. I don't think I've used more than five, but I'm in Florida. And five is using 185, 76, 94. When the electric blanket gets warm enough, it idles and it idles about four, five watts. So what I found in my experience is that a 100 watt Renogy solar panel does not by any means adequately charge juice my Jackery Explorer 1000. Some days I drive more than others, but I, I, that doesn't cut it either. You know, I get 76 in, but my power consumption with my fridge, the Joy Titus 26 liter fridge is using about 10% of my battery. And when I use the electric blanket overnight, that's another 15%. So the nights that I have my electric blanket and my, my fridge is 25% of my battery. I'm constantly charging this thing. I am constantly going into coffee houses and plugging it into the AC outlet. It takes seven hours to charge it fully, three and a half hours to charge half of it. 
my friend has an EcoFlow and his takes two hours to fully charge. I would not buy another Jackery. So to answer the question, is a 100 watt solar panel enough juice to power a 1000 watt hour Jackery? The answer is no. The answer is no, no, and more no.